Freetown, like many cities, um, well, I would say every city in the world, is already feeling the impacts of climate change. But for a city which is really densely populated and has suffered from deforestation, which itself resulted from people moving into the city because of climate-related challenges, it has been a compounding of issues. Flooding, landslides, deforestation leading to water scarcity, uh, destruction of the biodiversity ecosystem. On a daily basis, extreme heat affects our residents. Climate change for us is real. What needs to happen to ensure developing countries are supported in building resilience and adapting to climate change is a very important piece. But next to that, which I will bring out now, is emissions need to be reduced. Because we can be resilient and we can be adaptive, but if the greenhouse gases continue to be emitted, then the temperatures go up and we will never really solve the problem. But today we have a problem and we need to do, and we are doing something about it. And in order for us to do more, we need the collaboration of others, particularly those responsible for the emissions. And what are we doing? Among other things, we have a big focus on nature-based solutions. Hashtag Freetown the Tree Town is our plan, almost fully implemented now, to plant a million trees. We launched in January 2020. We thought it would take two years. It's taken us three, but we're really proud of it because by the end of November, our final 250,000 trees will be in the ground. And we don't just plant trees, we grow them. And that means we're creating green jobs because we have over 1,500 young people who make their living by tracking using a digital app the growth of the trees and reporting it, protecting the trees, working with our climate ambassadors to ensure that our survival rate, currently at 82%, stays there and that it gets better. As we look into the future, just on this particular intervention, we are building now a system for carbon offsets so that we can actually trade with those in other parts of the world who are looking to offset their carbon and enable them for a fee, which will allow us to plant more and monitor more, use the benefits of the carbon that we are sequestering from the atmosphere in Freetown. Urgent is urgent. We cannot say urgent, and it takes me, as a city, three years to be able to raise financing for a feasibility study to introduce green public transport. Urgent is urgent. We need everybody at the table. Private sector, governments need to, private sector needs to invest. Governments need to give the space and to be focused. Someone said to me just now, I feel like we come here every year and say the same things and we don't see anything change. Yes, we are seeing something change. We're seeing more wildfires. We're seeing more flooding. We're seeing more deaths. We're seeing more challenges to the food security systems. We are seeing something change. It's up to us to make the changes in policy, in investment, in legislation that's required to come up against what we've done so far to the environment.